in my view, like we could brain drain the entire world if we wanted to. Hi everyone. And welcome back to the Nick Hilaris show. Um, I interrupted you. You're about to get into the temporary visa. So why don't we uh, do that now? There are more than 20 categories of temporary visas. So I won't go through each one, uh, but one of them I will flag is the H-1B visa or the specialty occupation visa. So these are people who with specialized knowledge. They tend to work in our tech sector, a lot of them working on, on computing in computing roles. So they're vital for our economy, for our competitiveness, for our national security. And again, this, this visa has a limit, an annual limit. So it's 65,000, it's a very small number. And there's a 20, 20,000 additional for people with advanced degrees. And H1, the H1B visa is one of the few temporary visas that has what we call dual intent. So people are allowed to seek permanent resident status uh, if they come in on an, come in on an H1B visa. But from, there's only one other category of temporary visa where there is also dual intent and for all the others. Uh, we're, we're really, um, disincentivizing or making it impossible for people to, to stay in the country. So that is, uh, obviously not desirable from an economic perspective. And uh, another thing I'd say about the H1B visa, as, as with all of these visas, the demand exceeds, exceeds the supply. So when we get more people than the limits than the limit allows, we have an H-1B lottery where the, the visas are given out randomly. So that is also doesn't make much sense because we, we should really be prioritizing those who are most important for our economy, for our, for our country. Uh, so there, there are a lot of things that could be improved on the temporary side as well. Yeah. A couple follow-up questions on that H-1Bs. Maybe this isn't a question, it's more of a comment. When I was reading the testimony about that, what was fascinating about it is, is that these American executives were telling Congress, like, guess what we're going to do? We're going to go open up shop in Canada or Ireland and other places that had more favorable immigration policies and put those people there and pay them, you know, six figure salaries, uh, which I just found shocking that the Congress members of Congress kind of heard that information and still couldn't make an adjustment to the H one B number. Why do you think that is like, what, what's, what's going on in that particular case that is preventing Congress from doing something that seems like an absolute policy, no brainer. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to say I, that Canada is, yeah, it's, po it's poaching people because they are stuck in our system and they're struggling for years to get green cards. Um, and why haven't we increased this, this cap? Well, honestly, we're, it's, it's multiple reasons. Firstly, we, we have again, wide agreement from, from both parties that we, we, we should do in, be increasing, uh, immigration for our economic needs, but you do have the extreme ends of each party who are against this. And so we are finding that some bipartisan attempts are being stymied, uh, in light of that, but also we're, you know, there've been comprehensive immigration reform attempts, as I mentioned before, combining border security and, and, uh, enabling undocumented immigrants who've been in the U United States for a long time to stay in the country and to have legal immigration reform all in one. And those attempts as well tend to fail partly because there are things in there that each party doesn't like. So, uh, Republicans aren't really, uh, interested in, in enabling these undocumented immigrants to, to get green cards, to get citizenship. Whereas, uh, Democrats, uh, historically at least have, have been opposed to the border reforms that have been proposed. Of course, we saw this uh, re recent bipartisan border deal. Um, so there have been just challenges in getting this, this buy-in, uh, to get th this comprehensive reform. And I think that we, w one approach going forward is to, to focus on smaller incremental change. And we are seeing some bipartisan bills that are, that are focused on 
legal immigration reform and supporting our economy. So, so one, for example, is the Eagle Act, which is a bipartisan bill. And one feature of that, that bill is that we would be reserving some green cards for shortage occupations, occupations where we don't have enough workers. I think the, the issue as well, when it comes to something like that, that, which is a bipartisan bill, which is out there, is that a lot of the oxygen on this debate is being taken up by the border. And it's, it's, there's a lot of politics uh, behind uh, around that as well. So it's, it's looking more like we need to get an agreement on the border and to implement border reforms before we're really going to be able to consider these legal immigration reforms, because that's where all the attention is at the moment. And so I think solving the border issue might be the, the key to unlocking the legal immigration reforms, which both parties generally do you agree on? Yeah, that makes sense. It's like the border is such an emotional issue and it it's a easy, it's a headline grabbing issue that no one wants to talk about the nuances about H1Bs and, uh, you know, maybe the cap should be 200,000 instead of 65,000 when they're talking about whatever the number is of encounters on the border per month, the millions of encounters on the border. It's I sort of get it from a emotional standpoint, but from a, just like a raw, like real politic standpoint, this is an area where America should be winning. This is our, this is our strategic advantage. People want to live here because we have this rule of law. We have the economic opportunity and the cultural dominance and all, all the things that make this country special. And we could drain in my view, like we could brain drain the entire world if we wanted to. But we're, we're, we're caught up talking about other stuff and, and not focused on, on doing that for, for many reasons, obviously.